Yo, 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 welcome to today's video. You join us here on the beautiful Black Rock Sands in Northwest Wales. This is where I start the new series of tutorials of how to boat and jet ski safely so you can enjoy your time. Before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to Robert Owen Marine. They are a local sea do dealer to Port Maddock. They've lent me this ski to do this tutorial. Looks pretty nice and pink, doesn't it? Here on Black Rock, we have two lanes of red buoys. This is where we are supposed to launch the boats. Anywhere around that surrounding area or swimming areas. Now, these are the bylaws for this beach only. You could are launching in other areas, it's worth checking with your local authority to see where it is safe to launch and where it is legal to launch. That is up to you. Everywhere has a different system, so just beware of that. So, what have I just done? I've taken the straps off that hold it onto the trailer, apart from the winch strap, that stays on until you're in the water. I've checked out whether the ski is worthy to go out on the water, i.e. no holes in it. And the most important thing, I've made sure there's a bung in the back of the ski. You don't want to go sinking now, do you? We're ready to go, we've got the keys. Let's do this. From Black Rock here, we have pretty solid sand, but that does change when you get into the water. Now what you're supposed to do, if you're new to the area, wherever you're launching, ask local knowledge to see where's best. There may be rocks here, we have no rocks. We have quicksand over the north bank, but here we're usually okay, but just for a tip for your area, if you don't know where you are launching, just take a little walk into the water using your feet to feel how soft the sand is gives you an idea whether it's safe enough to do so here we're pretty good to go yes I will need to go deeper but I do know this beach very well I've launched here thousands of times, but it's just an idea for you to check. I think it's time to launch, don't you? Get in. Right, so we are ready to launch, which is the fun part. Usually you have a life jacket on with you, obvious reasons, but it's a tutorial. I'm not going out on the water. I'm just literally launching the ski, and then I'll show you how to retrieve it later on in this video. So, for now, as I said earlier, we have the winch strap still attached. To push the ski in. Now what we want to do, we want to get into deep enough water for the ski to float. Now on this ski, it'll float roughly at the height of the trailer. Roughly at the height of the trailer. Now we're on a wheel trailer, so it does come off easier. Now, if you have a look at the winch, I press the handle down, I release it. I undo the strap to give me enough slack. Now the ski is free. Push the ski up. attaching anchor to the ski to hold it in place so it doesn't drift away. So if you have a friend with you, you then get your friend to hold it or get your friend to take the trailer 
back into the car to a safe distance away from the water. We've got to pull the trailer out of the water. Now, I've developed a little tip. Now, when I do this, be careful of this winch handle. So pull a little bit out, just enough to clear the bottom of the trailer. Now, flip the ratchet on. Get the strap. And it's so much easier to pull. You're not hitting your legs on the tow ball. You're just pulling. And it's so much easier. So we've got the trailer back out on the beach. We'll attach this trailer back to the car if you can. Lock it to your car to make sure it's safe. We're on the tidal beach here. It ranges at least a quarter of a mile. So what we always say is, go to the top of the beach when parking, and then if you're out there for a few hours and the tide comes in, your car and trailer are safe. The main priority is do not put your car in salt water. Now as you can see, the ski has been beached, so it can't really move anywhere. So nothing can get trapped when you're pulling back on the trailer, your fingers don't get hurt, much better, especially when it's in rough water, it's much better for you. A little bit of preparation to make it slightly easier for you. Undo this clip so it's all free. Now when you pull the strap out, beware of that handle. Keep your hands away from it because you don't want a broken wrist, do you? Now don't pull the strap all the way out, just enough to go over the back bar there. You can always adjust it when you get to the ski itself. But what happens now is, it won't flap about, get tangled in rollers, it's just the right. So now, we'll go into retreat. So push the ski off the tilt, the rollers hit like that. Get the strap. Pull it to make sure it's on. Hold the strap and flip the winch. Now your winch may be different to mine, maybe a different manufacturer. So to use the winch, always go through your manufacturer's instructions. Now we'll start winching in. Now it's always better to lift the trailer slightly just to help it underneath. Find its centre point and lower it down, pull it up to this point here. Nice and tight. So now we know it's not going anywhere. A little bit of speed is key here, especially if you've got a, a heavier ski, especially with the tide like this, your wheels will start to sink in the tide. So, grabbing this handle and grabbing the bottom of the ski, pull. Be careful of your back. If, two, if you can have two people doing this with you, then that's better. Pull it out, up the beach. And that is a safe launch and a safe retrieval. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Robert Owen Marine for lending me this Sea Dew Spark. If you like what you've seen in this video, please subscribe below, click the like button, click the bell, and we will see you on another tutorial. Bye. I really do hope this tutorial has helped you. This is just a guide. Safe boating and enjoy yourself.